Hey guys! Hello and welcome guys. I'm back of course for another live stream. Thanks for tuning in everyone. I'll wait a little bit for people to jump in and then we can go ahead and get started with another fun live build. So let me know in the comments down below what's going on with you guys. I'll be taking questions throughout. And uh, so it looks like we got quite a few people here. So welcome everyone. Super excited to have you guys. How's everyone doing this weekend? We've got some uh, people just streaming in through the chat, so I'll try to answer as many questions as I can. Um, but why don't we go ahead and just break open this set? So uh, Deluxe Comics asks, how are you? I'm doing all right. Um, thank you very much for asking. Just super excited to be building another set from the Lego Ninjago movie. All right, we've got a question here from Dutton Domain. Hi, will you be showing us the Beetlejuice world in LEGO Dimensions? Uh, I haven't gotten the Beetlejuice pack yet. I was lucky to get a couple of those ones early, but I definitely hope to be picking up that pack and maybe doing some gameplay on the channel. So, all right, let me go ahead and crack this guy open. For those of you guys in the US, this is an exclusive right now at Walmart retail stores, as well as LEGO.com and Walmart.com. Oh, wow, we've got another... Uh, We've got a fun super chat here from Lego Maniac. I recognize you. Can you follow Kashawa55 on Instagram? Um, I have to check out the, that profile. So thanks for sending that over and thanks for shooting over a super chat. That does a lot to support the channel, so I really appreciate it. All right, whoa, lots of stuff pouring out of here. Ooh, I love this, a big old uh, uh, kind of a canopy dish there, really cool. All right, looks like we've got three bags here. Yep, nothing else in this box. I'm gonna go ahead and put this aside. And let's get organized a little bit because <laughs> whenever you try to do live builds, you always end up building very slowly. So it's good to get organized. <laughs> All right. Mr. Brick asks, what is your favorite Scooby-Doo set? Um, my favorite Scooby-Doo set was probably the one that came with the Mystery Machine, just because I think that that's probably the most iconic one. So um, that was probably my favorite one. I really did like the castle too, and it seems like Dark Angel agrees as well. All right, let me get my instruction booklet ready to go. All right, we've got that open. I'm gonna go ahead and grab bags two and three, put these off to the side. All right, and then I'm actually gonna scooch the camera in a little bit. All right, Nathan Johnson asks, what about Angry Birds? Um, the Angry Birds line was pretty fun, but um, you know, the Angry Birds line had, I think, a lot of good sets, but I think some of them were on the affordable side and some were on the pricey side, so I wasn't able to pick up all of them. All right, let me just get all this dumped out. The nice thing is about this set is that this is actually my first set that I've built that comes with J, so I'm really excited about that. Um, let's see. Omega Ruby Senpai asks, are you getting the exclusive Lloyd Polybag? If you're asking about the one with the, um, at the Lego store, like the exclusive one, I, yeah, I definitely want to get that one. Um, I haven't had a chance, obviously, to get it yet because I don't think it comes out until the 22nd, um, but I definitely want to get it, so yes. All right. Let's see. Somebody asked earlier in the chat, I think I might have missed it, uh, who... Uh, some who asked it, but somebody asked, how much does this set cost? And this set, I believe, is $30. So uh, that's US dollars. All right. Uh, what's my favorite DC Hero minifigure, including Teen Titans Go? Um, my favorite DC minifigure, um, I really loved a lot of the ones from the Lego Batman movie, like Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy, I really loved. So probably one of those, I would say. Let's see. Lego Gaming Knight asks, what was your favorite Lego Dimensions set? Um, my favorite Lego Dimensions set, hmm, it's really tough actually to pick one because they're all so cool. Um, I really liked the Doc Brown set. Um, I thought the train was really cool and getting an updated version of that minifigure was really cool. I love the Cyberman set and really all the Doctor Who sets because uh, I'm just a big Doctor Who fan. So, and I really liked so many of them, so it's kind of hard to pick, but maybe I'll pick those for right now. <laughs> all right, let me get a little bit started and then I'll take another question or two. Because <laughs> like I said, whenever you're building these sets on camera, for some reason, it's so easy to just forget to build. You know, like I'm having too much fun with you guys and then I just forget, wow, I'm supposed to be building something right now. That's why I started this video. <laughs> all right, I'm putting together J now. And like I said, this is my first J in his ninja gear. I do also have the lightning jet, but I haven't built it yet. And um, so this is my first time seeing J. And let's get the correct head. 
he's got such a kind of a funny personality in the trailers and such, so I'm really digging his character so far. All right, and let's turn this around. Let's see. Um, what is my favorite? Uh, what's your favorite and least favorite Lego theme from Brat Rat 101? I think my favorite Lego theme is superheroes. I've always been a big fan of the minifigures, especially. So DC and Marvel superheroes. And then my least favorite theme, it's kind of hard to pick a least favorite because there's a lot of themes I don't collect. So, you know, like Friends or, you know, something like that is probably one I would say would be my least favorite. But it's not because it's not a good theme. I just don't collect any of it. So, yeah. Let's see. Um, there is a couple questions here. Uh, there's a, some people looking for shout outs, but I, I don't really like to give shout outs, I, but I love answering your questions. So feel free to just shoot me a question. I'd love to answer it. All right. Nathan asks, on a scale of one to 10, how excited are you for the Lego Ninjago movie? Um, I'm probably like a 10. I'm pretty excited um, just because I really think that this one is going to surprise people in terms of, I think it's a franchise that not a lot of people know. You know, it's not Lego Batman, but I think it's going to pay good respect to the TV show. And it's also going to be just its own kind of fun thing. And I think it's going to be really funny. And so that's something I'm totally looking forward to. So, yes. Uh, Jay Kwan asks, do you like WWE? Um, so I don't really keep up with it right now, but I did like it a lot when I was growing up. Um, my brother was super into it. So we used to watch, you know, like Raw and SmackDown and like all those sorts of, uh, you know, shows that they would do every week. So I used to be a fan, but I couldn't really t tell you uh, who's wrestling nowadays. I, I don't really keep up at all. Let's see. Do you think the Ninjago movie... Uh, Let's see. All right. I might have missed that question. Sorry. Victor asks, do you think we are ever going to get Lord Vortech in Lego Dimensions? So yeah, you guys may recall I made a video about this a long time ago about the rumors that we found him in the data mining. And, um, you know, it's uh, it's one of those things where I would love for them to come out with a Lord Vortech fun pack or some way to kind of cap the, you know, great game that they had. But for some reason, the rumors for that have kind of slowed down and, I, and I'm feeling less and less likely like it's going to come. So I'm not sure um, to answer your question, but I'm my, if I had to guess, unfortunately, I would probably say I don't think it's coming. So let's see. Um, Caleb asks, who won the Vixen? And uh, if you go back and watch my last live stream, I put all the winners there so you can see that. Let's see. Do I collect Amiibo from Deluxe, Deluxe Comics? And actually, I do collect Amiibo. Um, I, I probably have collected too many of them. And it's just because I really love Nintendo stuff. I, I have a Nintendo Switch. I've got a Wii U. I had a 3DS. You know, So I'm a big Nintendo person. But um, I'm also a big toy collector, as you guys probably well know. And so, yeah, I did collect quite a few of those. But um, there, I don't have them all out. So I would love to have a nice display of them. But a lot of them are, a lot of them, to be honest, I haven't even opened yet. Let's see. We've got some questions here. Uh, a lot of people have been asking about like what other Lego YouTubers I like. I've seen a few questions in the chat about this. And so, yeah, I mean, I watch all the Lego, you know, the bigger ones like um, Brick Vault and Jang Bricks and Brick Show and all those things. I've actually met the Brick Show guys a few times. They're really nice guys. Um, and so, yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of all of those guys. So everyone's doing a really good job. Let's see. Nathan asks, about how much money do you think you've spent on Lego sets? Oh, my God. I... I don't even know, <laughs> uh, but it's quite a lot, but a lot of it's be been for you guys. So I I'm going to blame you guys for how much I spend. No, I'm just kidding. Um, somebody asked a question. I think I missed who it was. What do I think of Galador? And I remember those sets from when I was growing up. Um, and I think that they always looked kind of silly. I was more into Bionicle, um, that, that sort of style at that time, I would say. But um, yeah, I mean, I love the reference in the Ninjago City set. I think that's hilarious. So I guess I'm a fan in that regard. All right, we've got a lot of people hopping into the chat now, so I'm seeing a lot of familiar faces here. All right, Anger MED asks, are you getting the Bricktober minifigure packs? Yes, I really, really want those, it's totally. I definitely want, um, especially the Lego Batman movie one, that's the one I'm the most interested in, probably with Ninjago and the kind of more classic minifigures one, 
being a close second. But um, And then the city one, I may be just somewhat interested in, but the hard part about those sets is that you always have to um, spend usually around $75 to get them, and there's one a week. So essentially, you'd have to be spending $75 for four weeks in a row, and that's a lot of money to spend on Lego, even if you... Uh, even if you've been saving up, that's a lot of money. So, yeah. All right. Bonnie Parker says, do you have the Lego Scooby-Doo castle on talk bricks? I have. So I'm guessing you have the castle, and I do have it. Actually, I have a review of it up on the channel. It's one of my, one of my earlier reviews in the Lego Scooby-Doo sets. If you guys have been a fan of the channel or if you've been watching my live streams, you may know those sets uh, were some of my first big breaks on YouTube was posting the, my reviews of those sets because I was actually one of the first people on YouTube to have those sets. So that was kind of a that's a fun talk bricks trivia for you guys. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Beverly Williams asks, will you get the Black Panther sets? And yeah, I'll definitely be looking out for those Black Panther sets. I just love, love, love the superheroes line. And so I and I'm really excited for the Black Panther movie. That trailer looked amazing. So I feel like between my love of Lego superheroes and the fact that the movie looks really great, I definitely want it. All right, Liam Matthews says, you can buy the Bricktober minifigures for $14.99 each. And yeah, often you can buy them, uh, but some stores are really big sticklers and they don't actually let you buy them until at least after Bricktober. So I'm hoping that my local store will be lenient, but uh, yeah, so no normally you're right, you can buy them outright, but not every store seems to let you do that. So fingers crossed. All right. Lego Minute asks, are I going to watch the Lego Ninjago movie and other superhero movies? So yeah, I'm definitely going to be seeing the Lego Ninjago movie probably the weekend it opens. And I also really want to see Thor Ragnarok coming out. I think that looks really, really great. So I'm super excited for all of the different superhero movies and obviously the Lego Ninjago movie. All right, Omega Ruby Senpai asks, do you want to see Le uh, Lego Nintendo products? Yeah, that'd be really fun. Like I said, I'm a huge Nintendo fan, so I would really love that. Obviously, Kinex has the license for it right now, but I would, you know, you, you never know. Things could change, but I, I certainly would love it. Um, let's see. If Lego did Br uh, Last Jedi Brickheads, which, what characters should they do? Um, so... Uh, we, we do know that they are going to be doing Brickheads for The Last Jedi. I believe there's going to be four of them in the series, but we don't exactly know which ones are um, coming. Uh, I would have to imagine that there'd be a Rey. I'd have to imagine there'd be a Kylo Ren. I would also have to imagine a maybe a Snoke and you know maybe some sort of a trooper like a Captain Phasma or something like that. So maybe those are my guesses. Who knows? <laughs> we'll have to wait and see. Do you think Deadshot should have been in the Lego Batman movie? Yeah, I mean, it, honestly, they could they could never make enough minifigures for that movie, in my eyes. Like, I just loved everything they did with that movie, so I would just love more and more and more from Lego Batman movie. So as many figures as they want to make and characters they could have put in, but honestly, I think they did a really great job of putting in as many characters as possible. Gamer Kids asks, do you think they will do a new Black Panther headpiece for the sets? Honestly, I would really like it. Um, I know that... Um, the the kind of like little ring around the stud at the top of the minifigure head that we got for the Civil War sets. I think it looked okay, but I think a full like helmet piece would look better. So I would really like it, but um, I don't know. I wouldn't count on it too much. We'll have to wait and see though, to be sure. Let's see. Hey, Talk Bricks. This is from Caleb Bricks. Is the clear canopy as big as the Brainiac Attack green canopy? I think so. It feels about the same. I know they do make one that's a little bit taller, but I forget. I do have that set, but it's in storage right now. So I, I would normally I just like run and grab it and show you, but I don't have that one handy right now. So I guess um, you could maybe look it up on Bricklink. Uh, let's see. Do you think Lego Chima might come back one day? That's from X U Z I. Um, I don't think Chima will be coming back anytime soon. Maybe something like Chima or like a spin-off kind of thing, but I think that the show didn't do as well as they hoped it would and the sets probably just did okay. So, you know, well, I guess we'll have to see to be sure, but my guess is that it won't. All right, Nathan Clifford asks, how do you handle dust? So that is like the Lego fan's number one enemy is <laughs> the getting dust on all of your Lego. And the way that I handle it is nowadays, I don't keep as many things out as I used to. I used to keep like 
under my TV was like this whole thing of Lego that were all open to be dusty and such. And so now I have a few different cases that I keep things in. So it's all behind glass. And so they don't really get dusty. The only two things that I have to dust are my Avengers helicarrier, which sits underneath my glass coffee table. And then I've got uh, Metal Beard Sea Cow, which sits up on a shelf. And if you've watched some of my live streams on Instagram, you've seen uh, Metal Beard Sea Cow. Let's see. Um, uh, Jay Kwan says they made Doomsday, right? If so, they got to make one soon, right? Um, so Doomsday was in the micro, uh, the Mighty Micros line, but we haven't gotten like a proper Doomsday big fig, which would be cool. Liam Matthews asks, could you do a room tour? So I would love to do a room tour. Unfortunately, my place is, it's never as clean as I would like it. Um, and then the other thing is that my displays, like I said, I try to keep it a little bit more modest right now. I don't have too many things on display. So there wouldn't be quite as much to show. I know a lot of other YouTubers are like, um, you know, they've got like whole rooms in their house that are just for Lego and big city layouts. And I unfortunately, I just don't have the space for that. So my display or my room might not be as impressive as maybe some of the other ones you've seen. But, you know, sometimes on Instagram, I'll, I, will, I will show off my shelves and things. So be sure to follow me on Instagram if you want to maybe catch like a random little live stream that I do there, because I do sometimes uh, do streams there and show off my collection. So check it out. All right. The next question we've got here is, would it be cool if we got Lego Little Nightmares sets from Victor Toothy? And I, I'm not too familiar with that, so I don't know. But I'm, but if you think it'd be cool, then maybe it would be. But I, I'm not familiar with that show or whatever you're, you may be referencing. Sorry. <laughs> um, but let's see. Caleb Brooks says, hey, Talk Bricks, you're my fave Lego YouTuber. Thank you very much. That's, that really means a lot. Um, let's see. Anger MED says, do you think they will make Lego Sonic sets? I don't think we'll see a formal line of them. Um, obviously we got them in Lego Dimensions and I know a lot of you guys like me would have definitely wanted more than we got. You know, I would love especially Tails and Knuckles no matter what. So I would really like Lego Sonic sets, but I think it'd be a little bit hard, um, I'm not exactly sure what those sets would look like. You know, the interesting thing about the Angry Birds sets, those, that was based on a video game, and they had a little bit of that Angry Birds knockdown mechan mechanic, but with Sonic, it's about running really fast, and so maybe they'd have to make little vignettes, or I think maybe they could make some cool Eggman ships as sets, so that'd be kind of cool. XUZI asks, do you have the ultimate Batmobile set? I do have that set, and it's really fun. I, uh, I picked that set up, not right away when it came out, but a little bit after it, and I built that one, and it's in my display case up front in my main room, and no, I loved that set. It was really fun, and it was a cool moment in the movie, so I was super glad that it came out as a set. Um, let's see. What's the rarest Lego set you own? Mine is the Slave one from 1999. Actually, I have the Slave one from 1999 as well. Um, I mean, my rarest set is probably just an older... Like I have some old Star Wars sets. I've got old Harry Potter sets. I've got, you know, I've I've been collecting Lego for like twenty years, so I've got some some pretty good ones. But I'm not exactly sure what the rarest one would be. I do have. I mean, the rarest one I have is probably my San Diego Comic Con minifigures, just because they don't make very much of those. So, let's see. Nation of Brisk Bricks asks, how many Lego Ninjago movie sets do I have? So um, currently I have most of them. The only ones that I don't have are, oops, I'm building this wrong. Um, the only ones that I don't have are some of the biggest ones. So I don't have Destiny's Bounty. I don't have Temple of the Ultimate Ultimate Weapon. I don't have Ninjago City, but I pretty much have the rest of them if I'm thinking about that correctly. Hmm, I'm trying to think just to make sure, but, but I think I have most of them. Uh, Lego Star Wars Boy 10 says, do I have any Ninjago TV show sets? And actually, I don't have many. I have a handful of them, and I don't have many of them because I actually wasn't really into the TV show for a while. I, I started watching it because I heard the movie was coming out, and I wanted to make sure that I would be able to properly cover it on my channel to make sure that I was well-versed in all the characters and the, you know everything going on with the TV show. But then when I started watching it, I just binged it all, and I loved it. I, you know, I really enjoyed watching it. So... It's one of those things where I didn't get a chance to get the sets when they were out, 
And um, and so and I kind of regret it a little bit. The sets that I really want the most right now from the older series of Ninjago are some of the ones from the t uh, Tournament of Elements. I've talked about that a few times on my channel, but the Tournament of Elements season was one of my favorites. So um, if you guys have any extra Tournament of Elements <laughs> sets, there's a couple of them I'm looking for. So let me know. <laughs> um, let me just pop these pieces in place. Let's see. Um, has anyone accidentally destroyed your Lego sets? That's from Nathan. Um, nobody's accidentally destroyed my sets. I'm pretty particular. You know, I don't let people like monkey around with them too much. So I think that's been helpful in terms of making sure that that doesn't happen. But I know plenty of people that that has happened to where it's like a shelf has fallen or, you know, something crazy like that. Let's see. Skullwalker uh, 2005 says, I wish they could have made Kong Island, uh, Kong Skull Island as a theme. Yeah, I think a King Kong would have been pretty cool, especially, um, you know, because we may or may not have seen him in something else that was Lego themed. I'll leave it at that. But um, I would have liked something King Kong themed. That would have been fun. Let's see. What else do we got? Um, Deadpool Studio says, yeah, but I want Lego to make a Five Nights at, at Freddy series. They could do a better job. And besides, Funko messes up sometimes on the figures. So, yeah, I know that, um, what is it, McFarlane Toys, I think, has the brick license for Five Nights at Freddy. I actually was never really big into the game, so I, I can't tell you too much about what a, what a Lego version of that could look like. But I know a lot of you guys wanted that in Lego Dimensions. Nathan Johnson says, it would be cool if the Incredible sets weren't juniors. So yeah, I know that was a big a big feedback that I got when I made that video about the Incredibles coming as Lego sets was, why did it have to be juniors? If it's juniors, does that mean it's not going to be good? And you know what? I, I'm going to have a wait and see kind of attitude because, you know, even though the Cars Junior sets weren't as good as the Cars, you know, 2 Junior sets... I mean, uh, the regular sets they had for Cars 2. I do think that those were pretty good sets. We've also had some decent junior sets come with some cool minifigures, some exclusive ones. So, you know, I'm, uh, I'm going to be optimistic. Let's see. Gorilla Grodd was the closest thing we have to a King Kong figure from Deadpool Studios. Yeah, and I, I love the Gorilla Grodd set. That was, I actually, that's a set I reviewed on the channel. So if you ever want to go back and watch that one. In LEGO Dimensions, do you think we are getting LEGO Ninjago movie figures from Victor Toothy? I don't think so, because we're getting our own uh, its own game for LEGO Ninjago movie, so I'm pretty sure that that's definitely not coming to LEGO Dimensions. And I know that, you know, when I made the video, the video about the LEGO Ninjago movie video game, one of the things I said was that I think that that might kind of prove that it's the end for lego dimensions so i know that's been a rumor for a long time and obviously i don't want to see it go i mean lego dimensions is such an important part of my channel um but oh well i guess <laughs> all right what is your favorite lego batman movie set from x uzi my favorite lego batman movie set right now is probably the batwing i just thought that was a really nice substantial build like a really complete set and i really liked that so that was probably my favorite one and i see caleb bricks just asked that same question <laughs> All right. What is your favorite UCS Star Wars set? Hmm. My favorite UCS Star Wars set is probably the new Millennium Falcon. I just think it's really great, and they captured all the details really well, so I'm very excited to see that when it comes out. Um, what is... Let's see. Oh, I, I missed a piece again. <laughs> Um, and then my favorite UCS set that I don't have right now that I really want is the UCS R2-D2. I really, I missed out on that one and now I'm regretting it and I really want that one. <laughs> How would you feel about a band based theme from Drew Chandler? Um, I guess that could be interesting. I think it'd be better to maybe have like a band based minifigure series because, you know, I'm not sure what those sets would look like, but I think that the figures are basically what everyone wants out of that sort of a theme anyway. So maybe that's something that would be a really good compromise. Do you think there will ever be Powerpuff Girls sets from Fern the Gamer? Um, I do not think that we'll see Powerpuff Girls sets. Um, just because I'm not sure how wide that theme would be able to scale in terms of set sales. But I think it's very cool that we got the minifigures for it. And actually, I have them right here. So we've got Bubbles right here. She's really great. And then we've got Buttercup here. Let's see. Look at that. So these are really fun figures. And I'm definitely hoping that we get, um, you know, or I hope I can get the bubble, uh, the buttercup one really soon. But I was very lucky to get these ones early. Let's see. 
Lego Star Wars Boy 10 asks, what's my favorite Star Wars The Last Jedi set? Uh, my favorite one is probably the the UCS BB-8. Sorry, I'm just lowering the camera a little bit because I feel like you can't see what I'm building. Um, yeah, the UCS BB-8. I think that was my favorite one. It just was super hilarious. And honestly, I think that that was probably the best one. Dylan asks, um, what do you, what did you think of Mixels? Um, so I never got super into it. I, I, I never watched any of the show, but I do have a handful of Mixels because I think they came with some pretty cool parts. So uh, I liked that a lot, um, but I don't know. I never was super into them, and I know when you build, like, the the max version, you know, like the combined version of all the Mixels, you don't always use all the pieces, so I kind of think that that could have been fixed a little bit, but I think it's nice to have a series of sets that are pretty affordable, and you could kind of collect them all, so I like that aspect of it. Lego should make torso prints and leg prints with Nisa, Nike, Adidas, and other brands. Yeah, I think that that'd be cool just to get those because, you know, it's like a minifigure collector. But obviously, they would have to do some sort of a partnership. Nike and Adidas would have to get some of the money from that. So I, I would assume that's why they don't do that. Let's see. What DC character would you like to see Lego make next most? Um, I would have to say that... Um, Maybe, like, some of the other superheroes that we haven't seen yet. Like, uh, we've never gotten, like, a Lego Zatanna or, you know, just some of the more lesser known, like a Doctor, um, what was it called? Doctor Fate and, you know, some of those other kind of lesser known characters. I think those would be fun to get. Have I seen It, the Stephen King movie? Uh, no, I have not seen that because I don't... Um, I don't like scary movies. <laughs> I really hate them. Uh, I, I don't understand why people want to be scared. <laughs> But, uh, but they're very popular, and obviously there's a new one coming out. All right, do I have all the LEGO Ninjago Movie minifigures? And yes, I do have all the LEGO Ninjago Movie minifigures, so I'm feeling super excited about that. All right, Smasher X Gaming asks, Hey, Michael, how would you feel if LEGO made more LEGO Dragon figs? Hmm, I wouldn't hate more dragons. I remember growing up, I had, like, that classic green and black dragon with those, like, snap-on wings as, like, um... Like, it was like a horse, you know, like a rideable animal. And I always loved the dragons. So, yeah, I, I definitely would not hate more dragons. I think that could be really fun. And so why not? More dragons. <laughs> Will you be getting Ninjago City, as I loved it and you would too, from Vintage Bricks? Um, well, thank you for your uh, recommendation. And I definitely want to get um, the Ninjago City set. It's honestly one of the cooler sets I think that LEGO's made in a really long time. So it's on my list, but the hard part about very expensive sets like that is, you know, when should I pick it up? You know, should I pick it up right away? Ah, I'm not going to be the first review of something like that. So sometimes when it's bigger sets, I tend to wait because obviously for that same $300, I can get a lot of other Lego Ninjago movie sets. So right now it's certainly on my list and I would love to get it. But um, I'm just going to hold off for a bit and, you know, I don't know, maybe it'll, maybe I can find a, a deal or something. Who knows? Let's see. Um, would you have liked it if they put Ego the Living Planet minifigure in the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 sets? Yeah, I think that would have been really nice. You know, it's, it's hard when there's like a well-known character that's in a movie that you don't get a figure of because, I mean, that was like Vision in the Civil War sets or the, or the new Spider-Man and um, and Hawkeye, and so that was kind of nice in that later set when they all came in one set, kind of helping us fill out the Civil War roster in one set. But I know a lot of people were still mad that Ant-Man didn't come in that set. So let's see. In the UK, it's around $330 for Ninjago City. Yeah, it's pretty expensive. All right, uh, Lego Man Sam asks, uh, Lego Rick and Morty? Yeah, I know a lot of you guys would totally love uh, a, um, uh, a Lego Rick and Morty line, and I still have to catch up on that show. Let's see. Uh, Victor Toothy says, hey, Talk Bricks, I just want to know about if you are a Lego nerd. Yeah, I'm definitely a Lego nerd. I don't think you start a Lego YouTube channel if you're not a Lego nerd. <laughs> um, do you think a Marvel series of minifigures would work? I mean, I think a Marvel series would have no trouble selling, but I think the problem is, is that it, it's kind of a licensing issue. So Lego does have the license for Marvel sets, but whenever they make a minifigure series, it's more like making action figures and other companies have the licenses to make action figures. So yeah, I, I don't think that they could really do that unless it was a tie-in with like a Marvel movie or something like that. 
Um, let's see. Nathan asks, do you think we'll get Disney Series 2? Um, I know that that's been rumored for a long time that we'd get a Series 2. I really hope we do because, I mean, they could make almost an infinite number of Disney series and still have more to make because, you know, we didn't get Goofy, we didn't get Pluto, we, there's more Pixar characters, you know, we got Buzz, but we could have gotten Woody and we could have gotten, the, you know, so many other characters. So I think they could definitely make another series and I would love it. All right. Kayla Bricks asks, hey, Talk Bricks, I need your help. I have $133 and I want to buy a Lego Batman movie set. Should I get the Scuttler or the Batwing? The Scuttler and Batwing are both $99 in my country. Um, If you could only get one, I would personally get... Uh, it's a tough decision because the Scuttler also comes with uh, Poison Ivy, which I just loved, that figure. So I would probably get the Batwing just because it's currently one of my favorites. But... The Scuttler is a really fun set, and it's really big. So that's another kind of a fun bonus of it. Um, let's see. Lego Minute asks, Marvel or DC, which is my favorite? So it's sort of, it, I feel like that changes a lot. Growing up, I was like, I am, and I'm still a huge Superman fan, so I was very DC heavy growing up. But then all the great Marvel movies and everything came out, so then I think I became more Marvel heavy. So honestly, I think it's a really tough decision, so I'm going to avoid it. <laughs> Uh, Lego Star Wars Boy 10 asks, do you own the 60s Batcave? And I do own the 60s Batcave, but it's one of those ones that I haven't had a chance to build yet. So I have that set and I think it's really cool. I kind of had to have that one, especially just for the classic, you know, Batmobile and all those classic minifigures, but I haven't had a chance to build yet. Let's see. All right. So these are, these were some tricky stickers, but I think I did a decent job on those. All right, um, let's see. Somebody asks why I'm ignoring them. I'm trying not to ignore anyone, but it's hard because when I look away to look at the instructions, sometimes I miss questions. All right, Lego Star Wars Boy says, favorite Rogue One set. Um, my favorite Rogue One set is probably the ATST. I just think that it was like a really substantial size and a really good build. So I would probably say the ATST. I know that's maybe not the most exciting answer. Um, and the minifigures were in it were kind of random and, and uh, you know, I'm not exactly sure why they came in that set versus other ones, but I really was just a huge fan of that set. It was just perfect. So I, I don't often say that. <laughs> Uh, what's your favorite Lego Dimensions wave? That's from Luke. Um, my favorite Lego Dimensions wave? Probably wave one, just because it was the biggest one and it was so, the most exciting because it was the first one that we were getting from this brand new, you know, this brand new video game that we were all so excited about. So I'd probably say series one. All right, Lego Gaming Knight says, do you like Guardians of the Galaxy? Yeah, I really like Guardians of the Galaxy. I think it's just, um, the movie's turned out so great, and I think that the director is really great, and he really values those characters and wanting to do them right. So, yeah, I'm a huge fan of it. All right, Mr. Noodles asks, can I wait for The uh, the Last Jedi? No, I'm so excited. Um, I think that... The Force Awakens was just so good. And so the more of that sort of stuff that we're getting, you know, more of the kind of the main storyline of Star Wars, I definitely am super excited about. Uh, Nathan says, thank you for notifying me about the Batmobile mini build at Barnes & Noble. Well, you're welcome, Nathan. I actually didn't get that. Um, so I went to my Barnes & Noble, but they weren't participating in the event. So it's one of those things that um, I'm glad you guys got it, but it's actually one of the few Lego Batman movie sets that I don't own. So kind of fun fact. Uh, Evil, Eviler Parachute asks, Overwatch? Um, so obviously I'm familiar with the game, but I don't play it um, um, just because I'm not very good at shooter games. <laughs> um, so I haven't picked it up yet, but I've heard really good things. Um, let's see. Who's your favorite uh, series minifigure that's not Disney, DC, Lego Movie, or Simpsons? Um, hmm. There's been so many good ones. I mean, I remember loving the hot dog guy when it first came out, but I feel like picking a suit minifigure is kind of a a lame answer. Sorry, I'm kind of focusing. I'm trying to put on this sticker here. So that's, I'm doing it off camera so I can really focus. Um, but I mean, I loved so many of them. I, I think it was always a fun surprise to kind of figure out which one was my favorite in each series. I tend to like the costume minifigures, but I also like the ones that I think are just really useful, like um, like the gamer minifigure or you know, the welder or you know things you could put in your Lego city. I think a lot of people really like building out their cities and having 
good townsfolk. And so there's been some fun ones that way. Let's see. Lego Terra Teen Titans or Mi- Miss Martian Young Justice. Um, that that would be those would be great figures. All right, Smasher uh, X Gaming asks if about Lord Vortech and Lego Dimensions. We talked about this again and uh, earlier in this stream, and unfortunately, we haven't heard a lot about that lately. So I'm not feeling super confident that that's coming. So I guess we'll have to see to be sure. But um, I don't know, just not feeling super confident there. All right. Um, let's see. Do you think it would be funny if we got the set for uh, the Vulture? Uh, it's a little spoilery, so I'm going to skip that one. Um, let's see. How fast do you build when you're not talking, Drew Chandler? Much faster. Much, much faster. Because also, I mean, because I'm having too much fun talking to you guys that I tend to forget about the build, um, which, is a, which is a funny problem to have, but um, it's a problem nonetheless. So much, fa- much faster normally. <laughs> All right. Um, who's my favorite YouTuber? Um, favorite ever? I, I mean, I, there's so many great YouTubers, and especially not even in the Lego space. So if I had to pick a favorite, I'd probably pick someone even outside of the Lego world. Um, I love tech reviews, and I love um, uh, what's his name, um, Marquez. You know, MKBHD. He's a really great YouTuber, and I really respect the quality of his videos. Let's see. All right, where's my last piece here? Okay. Um, Luke asks, am I getting the old fishing store? Um, That's one of those sets that it's like one of those ones that I really want, but I probably don't need um, because honestly, it's really cool. And the, the designers did a really great job just really knocking that set out of the park. I think the all the details and the kind of the old, you know, the, the shackle or not the shackles, the... Um, the paneling on the side of the building that's kind of falling off. They just did a really great job making it feel feel kind of run down and lived in. So I really love the set, but I don't have like a great use for it because I don't have a uh, Lego City that it would work too well in. I'm not a huge fishing, fishing fan myself. So the set doesn't like, um, like sometimes I'll buy a set because it really is like something that was it very important to me or, you know, something like that. But yeah, so I don't have a good use to buy it, especially considering that there's so many other great sets out, but I really want it. That's another reason why I haven't picked up the big uh, Saturn V, uh, the, the Apollo ship too, because it's a really cool set, but I don't really need it. <laughs> Let's see. What if we got sets from Lego Dimension Story? That's from Victor Toothy. And honestly, that would be unbelievable. I would have loved that so much because how much would you love like getting a set of, you know, the Wild West, you know, section from the Back to the Future, you know, part of the story and, you know, mixing in all the other franchises? Like I just, oh, those would have been the best. And I really especially would have loved a Wizard of Oz set because we never got one of those. And I would have loved more minifigures than just the Wicked Witch, which we've now gotten twice. So, yes, I'm all about LEGO Dimensions sets from the game. I would have really, really liked that. But maybe that's just me. All right. Do you think there should be a LEGO Loud House minifigure line? I'm not familiar with that, so I guess I'll say I don't know. (laughs) Uh, Do I watch Jake Paul? No, I don't watch Jake Paul. Let's see. Sorry, I'm just trying to snap this guy on. Uh, It would be a cool set for the try, says Nathan Johnson. Yeah, definitely. I would love that so much. I I would have bought that in a heartbeat. And honestly, I think that would have been would have maybe helped game sales. Like imagine if you would have gotten a set like a full set, like let's say it was like fifty dollars or something like that. But it was also a fun pack. That would have been awesome. So I think maybe it would have helped with sales as well. Let's see. Which Spider-Man villain would you want in Lego? So um, the one I would want the most right now is definitely Mysterio. Um, I used to watch this old uh, Spider-Man cartoon series growing up from the 90s. And you can actually watch the whole thing on um, on Hulu right now if you guys have Hulu. But um, I loved Mysterio in that series. So definitely Mysterio. All right. John's, uh, J- or John's E-Tube asks, did I like Chima? And um, you know what? I, I, I thought some of the sets were pretty neat, but I wasn't ever a huge fan of it. Not because I thought it was bad or anything. I just, um, I don't know. I never really got into it. 
I, I tend to stick to mostly licensed themes. You guys may notice that in the types of content that I make. You know, I really like Star Wars and superheroes, so um, sometimes I tend to, to stay away from things like Chima or, or, you know, like I only have a couple Nexo Knights ones, you know, so yeah. Let's see. Do you think, uh, do you like the Lego TMNT line? Um, I, I wish they could bring it back. Yeah, obviously Megablox has the TM, TMNT line right now, but um, I did like it back in the day, and I wish I would have picked up more of those sets. So that I have a lot of like Lego regrets, and I would like um, I would like some of those older um, TMNT sets. I got like maybe two of them, like, and they were all the really small ones. But I, I so I didn't even get minifigures for all the different turtles, and I would love at least one of each of the turtles. I, I like I said, I regret not being able to do that. Um, but let's see. All right. Gotta grab these pieces. Have I seen the Lego Ninjago movie behind the scenes? That's from Orange Cow 34. Yes, I have seen it, and I'm working on a video for that. So stay tuned for a bit of a breakdown there. But it looks good. Um, Peach Cove asks, uh, do I like It, the horror movie, I'm guessing? And uh, I do not. I, I, well, I'm not familiar with it, so I guess I don't I don't not like it, but I don't, um, I don't like scary movies. <laughs> So we'll have to see. But I, I, I know a lot of people are pretty excited about the new one. Um, am I friends with Jay Shock Blast or Blitzwinger? No, I'm not. I'm, I don't know them. Obviously, I know of them, but uh, I'm not friends with them. But they're both doing a great job. So, uh, you know, I would maybe we could collab one day. That'd be fun. All right, Co Cobalt Cab asks, am I a fan of the Ninjago TV series? And I am, but I was explaining earlier in the stream that I wasn't always a fan, not because I didn't like it, it's just because I never watched it. And so I, I started watching it mostly to get prepared for the new movie, and uh, it was really cool. And I just, I binged the whole thing and loved every minute of it. Which Lego Batman movie obscure villain is your favorite? Mine is the Calculator and the Kabuki Twins. Yeah, the Calculator is a really great minifigure. I loved that one. Um, let me think if there's another obscure one. I mean, I really loved ones we haven't gotten yet. I really loved Gentleman Ghost. I thought that one was pretty funny. Let's see. Um, let's see. Would it be cool if we are getting gumball figures in Lego Dimensions? I'm guessing that's a show. I'm not. I'm not familiar with that one. Who is my favorite Ninjago? Um, I'm guessing you're you're asking which of the ninja is my favorite. I always say that Zane's probably one of my favorites, but in this new movie, I think Zane looks really funny, so I'm very excited to see how he'll be. But I'm excited to see maybe if my if I'll get a new favorite from this movie. So we'll have to wait and see. How much would you say my collection is worth? Drew Chandler asks. Um, I would have to say that my collection is priceless because <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, honestly. I have no idea. I know, I know I have, like I said, I have so much Lego. My mother would tell you I've got too much Lego, but um, um, I don't know how much it's worth, but I'd, I'd guess thousands of dollars. I, I don't know exactly, but I'd, I'd guess somewhere in the thousands range. We've got some other Zane fans here. <laughs> Do you think Liz should have been included in one of the Spider-Man Homecoming sets? I'm not sure where she would have been included, so I guess I'll say no for right now. If I could, uh, if you could, would you bend water, earth, fire, or air? Um, I think that's an that's from Andrew, and I'm guessing that's a uh, what's it called? Um, the Avatar: The Last Airbender question. And I only have watched a little bit of that show, so I don't really know enough about it to answer that question. All right, you should do more of these. They're good. Oh, thank you, thank you, Mini El Barto. I'm having fun too. Do you like the Lego Dimensions game from Lainey Lind? Well, Lainey, uh, you may not have been watching my channel for too long, because if you were watching me for a very long time, you'll know that I love Lego Dimensions. So, um, yeah, I definitely am a huge, huge Lego Dimensions fan. Uh, the Lego Dimensions is a big part of why I even created my channel to begin with. So, love Lego Dimensions. A lot of fun extra parts here. All right, let me grab bag two. All right, guys, we're a third of the way through this. This is probably going to be my biggest one I've ever done. Um, let's see. Do you want new Indiana Jones sets? Yes, I always want new Indiana Jones sets. Um, do you hope Lego Dimensions is saved from Luke? I definitely hope it is, but I don't... I'm not, uh... I'm not so sure. I, I think, uh... You know, I think it, it might have seen the end of its days. Uh, you know, I, I wouldn't guess... Nothing is making me 
believe that it's saved, I should say. You know, like, I, as much as I hope it is, nothing has been a good indication that it is, in fact, saved. All right. A lot of fun sand blue pieces in this line. How would you feel if there were Lego lantern ring molds? So, I don't know if any of you guys have watched the... Um, like those mini movies, the DC mini movies, but they actually have um, like Green Lantern shaped rings in those mo mini movies. And I think also in the Lego Batman movie, or sorry, Lego Batman 3 video game. And so they kind of already have some good designs for those. So I I I'm in, I'd like to see it. <laughs> All right, let me grab his pack and another hammerhead shark. All right, what Lego Ninjago movie set do you think I should start with? Um, it depends kind of what your budget is. So uh, there's a lot of really good smaller sets. Like there's a whole handful of great sets that are only $30. Um, like the Water Strider, this set, the Manta Ray Bomber, they're all $30. Um, there's also you know a bunch of good sets as you kind of work your way up the price range. So I think first... How much you do you have to spend? And if you have, you know, whatever you have to spend, there's a lot of really good sets <laughs> to go to go with whatever amount it is. So, I just got um, the Green Ninja Mech Dragon. I haven't built, but that's only fifty dollars. That seems like a pretty fair price. So that could be a good place to start too. All right. Liam asks, "What other Marvel Comics minifigures would you like to be made? Mine are Daredevil, Devil, Moon Knight, and a Chrome Silver Surfer." Yeah, we talked about this on a previous stream, but we haven't gotten any Fantastic uh, Four figures. So I think that getting some Fantastic Four characters, well, we got Doctor Doom, I should say. So I guess I can't say we've never gotten any, but I think it would be really great to get more uh, s uh, characters from Fantastic Four. They looked really great in Lego Marvel Super Heroes One. So. All right, Mini Alberto is going to go with the Green Ninja Mech Dragon. That's a good one. Uh, Lego Dimensions didn't end yet from Fern the Gamer. Yeah, so it's not over yet. Uh, we've got uh, Wave 9 coming out uh, on the 12th, and some of the packs are already really great. Um, I've got right here Raven. She's pretty cool. So, yeah, I mean, it, honestly, like, don't sleep on Wave 9. Wave 9 is pretty cool. Let's see. If you could create a Lego Marvel set, what would it have? Hmm, that's a great question. Um, I would like a, an X-Men set, and I would want it to have the um, the giant sentinel, like a giant sentinel build, and then um, some of the uh, different X-Men fighting against the sentinel. So that would probably be my dream Marvel set right now. Why does Kylo Ren not wear his helmet in The Last Jedi trailer? Um, we've seen him carrying it in some promotional art, so I'm guessing he'll wear it in general in the movie, but maybe just not during that scene. Um, on Wave 9, which franchise should I get first? Teen Titans or Powerpuff Girls? Um, honestly, I'd probably just get whichever one you like the most. I think that, for me, the... Originally, I, I would have said Powerpuff Girls right away because I think I used to think that those minifigures were kind of more exciting. But actually, now that I have the Teen Titans Go figures in hand, I think that they are really great. I, I like I said, I originally was like, oh, am I even going to like these figures because they have that kind of cartoony style that I'm not sure I'm I like. But honestly, they turned out really, really great. So don't sleep on any of the Wave 9 packs. I think they're going to be really great. Lego Disney game. Well, we are supposedly, the rumor is, is that we're getting a, um, a Lego Incredibles game. So that will be maybe a little bit of the Lego Disney game that you're looking for. And honestly, if that's true, it's going to be awesome. Talk Bricks. Where's the Lego Beast Boy minifigure? Okay, I've got Beast Boy right here. That's from Skullwalker. Look at him. He's so cute. That smile is just, like, adorable. <laughs> no, honestly, both of those Teen Titans figures turned out awesome. All right, I, I, I realize I'm building off camera too much. You guys came here for the for the build. i got to show you the build. Uh, I always like to... I'm very, like, very particular about making sure everything is super, like, um, securely pressed down, make sure that it's all super straight on, you know, so I... I sometimes uh, take my time with things like what I'm building right now, and I'll even um, like turn it up like this and make sure like it's all super straight, that they're all very evenly spaced. Maybe I'm weird like that. <laughs> 
What is the oldest Lego set I own? That was from Lainey Lind. Um, I'd have to go back and look. I do have a handful of like older figures, like from the old Pirates line, from the old Cowboys and Cowboys line, from the like the Western line. Uh, I have some old classic space minifigures that I inherited, so maybe something th around there, but I don't have any of those sets kind of complete and intact anymore because, you know, when you're a kid, you get sets, you build them, and you get bored with them. <laughs> what do you think of the two-piece helmet for Lego Ninjago movie? That's from Skullwalker tw uh, 2005. I really like it. I think it looks really great, and I think they did a really nice job. I mean, they seem to like it enough that they're actually going to continue it for season eight, so... I think it was a good choice overall. Let's see. This is pretty cool. Got one more of these left. Do I like Uncharted from Liam? Uh, I, I haven't played it yet, um, so I, I don't know. Actually, I have Uncharted because it came with my PS4, but I haven't played it. I don't have time to play video games as much as I would like, even though I love video games, only because I'm ma usually making videos for you guys, and so I, it makes it so I don't have as much time to play video games. <laughs> What would you like in the next DC Lego video game? Like, what is the storyline you would like? Hmm. Um, I, w I think another, like, big storyline that brings in more characters than Batman. I, I think, you know, Batman obviously is, like, a staple when it comes to all those video games because the Lego Batman series of video games does so well. But, I mean, I'm a big fan of a lot of the other characters, and so I think that would be fun to bring in more characters. Uh, Building Tube says, what do you do with Lego duplicates? Um, I wouldn't, I, I mean, I don't really buy a lot of duplicates. Um, like, I know some people will buy duplicate sets to build additional, you know, copies of things or they want to part things out. So I don't typically do that myself. So I, the only duplicates I guess I have is duplicate figures, you know, like, especially for the Lego Ninjago movie, like I've got a couple of these guys now, a couple of these guys now. Um, all right, Fern the Gamer says, I'd like to see a Lego Superman game. Yeah, I'm with you there. I, I've said this a couple times on the streams before, but Superman and me, uh, I'm a huge uh, I'm a huge Superman fan. So, so I have to build six legs for the jellyfish. When you guys have to build like six of one thing, do you guys um, do you guys build them all at once or do you build like one from start to finish and then the next from start to finish? Uh, so I'm kind of going right now and I'm building them all at once. That's that's at least how I'm doing this one. And I think that that'll work well for me. So, yeah. Do I have enough? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, no, one more. Like I said, when you're building on, when you're building live, you lose track of things. <laughs> if there was a Lego Disney game, what character would I like? Um, That's a great question. I think it would be fun to have the... Well, I would really like the Tron figures, to be honest. So I think, because I think Tron would be really, just make a very cool video game. I mean, it is eff effectively a video game, but I think it'd make a cool, like, Lego Disney one. Um, all right, so let me get some more of these pieces. Uh, am I looking forward to Thor Ragnarok? Um, uh, definitely. I'm super looking forward to it. Luke says he would like Lilo and Stitch. Yeah, that would be really fun. We got the Stitch figure, but we didn't get the Lilo figure. So maybe that would come in a future series. All right. And I'm putting more of these together. That's the only part, bad part about when you're building things like this, where you have to build six of something, is that it ends up being a little bit tedious. I remember I built the, the Nightcrawler set, like the new one from the Justice League, and having to essentially build four of the same legs, that was a little bit boring. <laughs> Would Teenage Groot be a regular minifigure for the Infinity War sets, as Groot was a brick build figure? Yeah, I'm guessing he'd be a regular figure. Let's see. The promotion figure for LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2 should have been Spider-Man 2099. Yeah, I'm with you there. I think that, supposedly, as they said on the one of the live streams, that the Goliath character is going to have a big part in the storyline. So maybe that means, or that's exactly why they made him a big part of the... Uh, or the, what should I say, the figure that comes with the game. But yeah, I'm kind of with you there. I think it would have been a little bit nicer if we had um, maybe Spider-Man 2099, Gwenpool, I think would have made a really, a really great one. Spider-Gwen would have also made a really great one. So yeah, I'm, I'm with you that maybe Goliath wasn't the most exciting figure they could have included as the promotional item with that game. But I'm still really looking forward to the game. 
Do you think that the Lego Just League set movie sets are good? I think they're terrible. Um, to be honest, I don't love them, so I'm kind of with you there. I really want to get them just because I want to get all the figures, especially. Like, I really want the cyborg figure and, you know, so that's why when people ask me on the stream, what's my favorite set from the Justice League movie, I actually tell them that I really liked the Atlantis set because I think that that's a fair, a fairly priced set that comes with good stuff. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's kind of my theory about it is that I think that the smallest set's the best one because I'm not a huge fan of the line, to be honest. All right. Let's see. Six... Six of these in a row. That's it's getting we're getting a little tedious right now. All right, we've got even more people jumping in. I love when, when I see people jumping in. We're almost going an hour. Normally, all my streams go around an hour, so um, this one's going to be a little bit longer because this set is a little bit bigger than I normally do. Let's see. Um, a lot of people seem to be excited for Infinity War, and so am I. Yeah, ten years into the making, you know, the Lego Marvel Cinematic Universe has been going on for ten years. Um, let's see. I'm thankful for you answering so many of my questions. Well, you're very welcome. I appreciate everyone just hanging out with me, asking really thoughtful questions. That, I mean, that's when this is the most fun. It's like when it's, I'm hanging out with you guys, everyone's being respectful, asking great questions. So I love it. All right. Time for a couple of stickers. We've got some of these. These are the last stickers, these 334s. And they go on every other leg of this jellyfish. So I'm going to put the sticker on off camera just because... You guys know I'm so particular about stickers. <laughs> Let's see. Um, if you were under the age of 10 when Iron Man came out, you have no right to be hyped for Infinity War. Ah, let, let them be excited. It's still exciting. Let's see. Um, can you do a selling for the Lego Ninja movie? Like, sell my sets? I, I want to keep them. <laughs> um... Anto asks, hey, why you don't play LEGO Dimensions? Uh, so I do play LEGO Dimensions, um, but I haven't put any gameplay footage on the channel in a long time. If you watched any of my brand new reviews that I did for the two different team packs that I was sent early, I did include some gameplay footage there at the end. So uh, I do play it. I just don't have as much time as I'd like to. Um, you know, it'd be really fun one day to go back and finish like 100% on every adventure world and every part of every level. But, um, you know, it's, it's, that would take a long time. But I think maybe one day, one day I'll try to do that. Do you ever rebuild your sets? So yeah, I actually have rebuilt sets before. Um, I'm trying to think of a notable one. Um, I rebuilt the Ultimate Collector Series Batmobile I had once. Um, what else have I rebuilt before? Um... I rebuilt a Toy Story set that I had that was in storage that I wanted out <laughs> and about on my shelf. But yeah, so occasionally I'll rebuild stuff. Let's see. Um, all right. I'm mad they did not play uh, make play sets for Pirates of the Caribbean, yeah. I have a lot of those old play sets for Pirates of the Caribbean, and they were super great. I was a big fan of the Pirates of the Caribbean line. A lot of those actually I got really cheap, um, cause I got them at a Borders that was closing. I don't know if you guys remember Borders. <laughs> uh, Henry says, I wish that Loki would have a new helmet mold. Yeah. His old one is a little bit enormous. So I would like maybe a more realistic size. That would be nice. Or even just the long hair because he doesn't really wear the helmet much. Not anymore, at least. All right. Last sticker, guys. I'm almost done with the stickers. All right, Smasher X Gaming says, hey, Michael, I never lost power in my house from the hurricane. Oh, that's awesome. I'm glad if any of you guys are in the area, we know that's kind of being affected by the hurricane. I'm definitely thinking about you guys and hope everyone stays safe and is doing well because that's a scary thing. And, you know, I know that it's just it's tough. You know, those kind of things are you can't do anything to stop them. All you can do is your best to just stay safe. And yeah, that's that's all I'll say about that. But like I said, I'm thinking about you guys. Um, let's see. Questions in the chat. We've got people from Denmark here. Uh, if you're from Denmark, have you seen the Lego factory? Because I want to go. <laughs> I know there's that, like, inside Lego tour, um, but it's supposedly pretty expensive. Let's see. We need a better minifigure for Falcon. Dual molded black arms with a t-shirt design would be amazing. Um, yeah, I definitely think that 
I love new. I always love new figures. You know, whenever they make, whenever they get kind of a second chance at a figure, they usually do a really good job. So, I, I'm with you there. New figures are always great. Would I like Lego 80s movie video game with lots of characters from old movies like Willy Wonka, E.T., and Ghostbusters? Um, yeah, I mean, I, honestly, I think that there's so many franchises that it would be really fun to um, to get. Uh, and so those are some good ones. I think there was a question, have I ever been to the New York Toys R Us? And I have, like the one in Times Square. Um, but I think they closed it. But then I heard they were going to reopen it. So I don't know. Uh, do you know when the Lego Ninjago cat is coming out? Um, I don't think that the cat is going to be a set, um, but we'll have to see. <coughs> Sorry, I'm like choking. Uh, let's see. You said that you uh, earlier that you collect other toys. What are they? Marvel Legends? Um, so I collect lots of different toys, um, probably too many different toys. Uh, from the Marvel Legends line, I don't have very much, but I do have the replica Iron Man helmet and the replica Captain America shield, um, which are awesome. So I really love that. Let's see. At the Toys R Us, my cousin got hit with a drone and got it for free. Oh my lord. That sounds scary. If Lego Dimensions didn't get canceled, what franchises would uh, would I want to see? I mean, I think so many of you guys always say when that question gets asked, um, Disney, DC, or more uh, Marvel characters would be amazing, or Star Wars characters, so those would be amazing. Um, Bertram says, no, but I have seen the Lego house. Ooh, I really want to go to the Lego house so bad. Peach Lock Cove says, you are, my, you are awesome, my favorite YouTuber. Thank you so much. CJ asks, thank you a lot. That really means a lot to me. CJ asks, do you collect Funko Pop figures? Yes, I do collect Funko Pop figures. My brother is really into them. Um, and so he always like tells me about all the new ones. And then I feel like I need to buy them all. And so, yes, I have far too many Pop figures. Because um, it's, hard, it's hard to have more than one collection. Especially because Pop figures come out so frequently, kind of like Lego sets. And luckily they're not so expensive. But if you buy enough of them, they get expensive. Let's see. I want a Fast and Furious Ideas set. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm with you there. I'm a huge Fast and Furious fan. Let's see. Uh, Talk Bricks, your vids are great, you know. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you, Fern the Gamer. Uh, Funko Pops versus Brick Hats fight. Yeah. I mean, certainly um, Funko has had a longer time to make lots of pops than there's been Brick Hats, but I know a lot of people don't really like the Brick Hats, but I'm definitely a fan, so... I have um, pretty much all the Brickheads except for the San Diego Comic-Con ones, um, though I really, really want those, especially the ones from last year. How do you think the new Justice League sets will be? Well, they're already out. That's from Spidey. And the Justice League sets, I would say, are just okay. They're, they're not my favorite, but I think that they come with some good figures. I think the Flash especially is a really big standout that I loved, but um, yeah. Have you seen the new Bricks and Kicks and Jago movie trailer? So yes, I have seen the trailer, and uh, I think it's Kicks and Bricks actually. But uh, yeah, I have seen the trailer, and I'm already working on a trailer breakdown for it. But I just wanted to come on and do a live stream instead. So, uh, but stay tuned for that. I'll probably be working on that trailer breakdown, maybe even later today or tomorrow. So stay tuned. Do you own an Atari? Uh, I don't own an Atari, but I did own a classic. NES growing up and uh, the Sega Genesis and the old Game Boy, but I never was a gamer back when Atari was around. Do I like Pirates of the Caribbean or Indiana Jones better? Um, I mean, I'm a huge fan of Indiana Jones just in general, like the movies. I was a huge fan. And the sets were really great. Um, I think that there was a few more Pirates of the Caribbean sets in general, so I think that I probably liked the overall collection slightly better, but Honestly, I loved um, both of those lines. Good stuff. Um, let's see. Do you use the Lego Life app? Um, so I do have the Lego Life app, but I don't really use it very much. Um, and you can't have usernames, you know, on it. So I would tell you guys to like look me up on Lego Life, but I can't. Uh, <laughs> I can't really do that because you'll never find me because <laughs> of uh, the way that they keep that a safe environment, which is a good thing in general. All right, so we finished all six legs finally. 
what what is your favorite year like for the movie and song they have mine is the 80s yeah i love 80s um like movies and songs i i was a huge fan of all that stuff so that's a good time for sure but it's hard to pick a favorite year uh hey talk bricks did you get the exclusive lego batgirl i did get that one and um i have it but i actually uh never reviewed it for the channel but i do have it all right we're getting to the bottom of this bag which Lego movie was better? Um, honestly, I, I really loved the Lego Batman movie, but I think that I may have liked the Lego, just the original Lego movie better, only because I think it was so original. You know, with the Lego Batman movie, I mean, it was a really, really good Lego movie, and it was a really, really good Batman movie, but I think the Lego movie was just such a shock. We didn't know what it was going to be. We, you know, it was just, we, I think we all thought it was going to be like a product placement movie, and it turned out to be like one of the best movies that year. So that's my opinion. Um, let's see. Do you like the series of unfortunate events? Um, I do. Um, I used to read some of those books growing up. And I have watched the um, the Netflix series, uh, which I thought was pretty good too. So if you haven't watched the Netflix series, check it out. Uh, let's see. Favorite old Lego theme? Um, hmm. I mean, a lot of my favorites are still around, obviously, like Star Wars and such. But my favorite old Lego theme? Hmm. Um, I mean, growing up, I loved a lot of the old space themes, like Space Police 2 and um, M-Tron. I had a bunch growing up. Um, so I think those were kind of fun as an old theme that I like. All right. These are hard to pick up. Do you like the Thor Ragnarok sets? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a fan of those sets. I think that they did a good job of making kind of just two sets that had kind of what they needed to have in it, you know, from the um, from the you know, minifigure standpoint. So, yeah. Do I want the exclusive Lloyd that's coming to the Lego store? Of course. When it comes to the Lego Ninjago movie, I want everything. <laughs> so that's my opinion. You deserve more subscribers, like at least one million. Um, okay. I would like a million. That'd be nice. <laughs> Lego needs to bring back uh, Speed Racer sets. Yeah, Speed Racer actually was out when I used to work at the Lego store back in the day. So some of you guys have been following my live streams. You may know that I used to work at a Lego brand retail store um, back in the day. And that's when the sp I, when I was working there, that's when the Speed Racer sets were out. So it was kind of a long time ago, but that was a... Uh, I remember that theme very well. All right. Do you have the exclusive Finn from Force Awakens? Uh, the one the, that came with the video game? Yes, I do have that one. So, yeah, that was a cool one. Am I planning to do a Lego Batman movie giveaway in the future? Um, I may be doing something like that. Uh, maybe when the next round of sets come out, but I have some other giveaways coming up, uh, some other things planned. I won't tell you guys yet because I want it to be a surprise, but I have some other ones that I think are some other things that you guys like that I think you're going to really be excited about. So I guess you'll have to wait and see, but some good stuff all around. And it's, it's fun to do the giveaways. All right. Would I like a Fast and Furious Lego idea set? Yes, totally. Big fan of the Fast and Furious movies, so yes, I would definitely like that. All right, I'm just attaching the legs now. And hold on, I'm going to open this canopy up so I can get a better place to push down. All right. Oh, it's a little back heavy. And pushing it down. Good. All right, we're secure. And it spins. Woo! <laughs> That's pretty fun. Do you know the Super Mario RPG uh, Legend of Seven Stars series? Uh, I do know it, but I never played it because I didn't have a, su a Super Nintendo growing up. But I do have one of the Super NES classics on pre-order right now, so I'm super excited to play those things. Um, and yeah. It, uh, Extreme Lego says, It's so nice to see you have this many subscribers since I have been here since before a thousand. Wow, you're one of the originals. Um, you believed in me. Thank you for believing in me. <laughs> Honestly, like having more subscribers, if it just means more like fun people like you guys to talk bricks with and to have this great community that we have here, then yeah, I'm all about it. But you know, having subscribers is nice. And obviously I do it. I do this, you know, partially because I'm, you know, I, I want to get gain subscribers, but at the same time, I really love just when people are nice and they leave great comments and you know we can interact really well 
All right. Samesh asks, do you like the Lego, uh, the Justice League sets? Please answer me. Um, so I'm answering. Um, and we talked about this a little bit earlier, but I like the sets, but I don't love the sets. Um, I, I think that some of the sets are, are better than others. And I do think that some of them tend to be a little bit expensive, especially the biggest set. I mean, not that it doesn't make sense, but I don't really think that biggest that big set isn't um, isn't my favorite set they've ever made. You know, I think that the what's it called, the Flying Fox. I think it's just not uh, it's not what I'd hoped it would be. But I really like the figures. Um, do you own any comic books? So yes, I do own comic books. Um, I actually have. Um, a little bit of a collection of Superman comic books. Like I said, I'm a big Superman fan. And uh, the other main reason why I collect Superman comic books is that I actually put them in frames and then I put them on my wall. So I actually have like a wall full of cool Superman comic covers. So that's kind of fun. And um, then the other uh, comics that I have is I have some of the big treasury comics so they're like the back in like the 70s i think it was they had these like large size comics so i have a few of those from dc and marvel and then also the last comics that i have a bit of a collection of is i have all of the lego versions of the dc comics so i don't know if you guys remember they came out with a line of of comic books that had variant covers with lego minifigures on them for dc i think it came out when lego batman um three the video game came out and i actually have all of those i think there's maybe 27 in total or yeah 27 i think 24 something like that but i have all of those and they're really cool what are your thoughts on the upcoming el lobo minifigure um lobo looks great and the and the hair that you're they're using is the same as with aquaman and i think it turned out really great um, do you think that, uh, do you think the Ninjago movie CMFs was good? I do think that they were really good. I think that, that we've already seen in the trailer though, a ton of other minifigures that I would really like. So I'm hoping that there is either a second series for uh, Ninjago movie or some other good figures in the upcoming sets. Lego Star Wars versus the Lego Batman movie. Are you, if you're asking, like, I guess, which set line do I like more? Um, and actually, I'm going to go ahead and say the Lego Batman movie. I like that. I like that a little bit more right now. And it's because when you when you've been collecting Lego as long as I have, it's really hard to continue to collect Star Wars just because they remake a lot of sets, and it's just it's, it's a very expensive. Um, it's a very expensive line to collect the Star Wars line because there's always more sets and they, you know, they do a good job keeping the figures in some of the different sets for, um, you know, some of the like like Ray for instance for the Last Jedi only comes in the big set, so they do a good job like essentially trying to make me want to buy the, all the biggest sets for the line. So, but I will say that I am a huge fan of star Wars, but right now I think the Lego Batman movie sets were some of the best, the most original. So I'm a big fan of those. I have a, the, an original Lego Ninja minifigure that is older than me. <laughs> I actually have some of those original Ninja figures too. Deluxe Comics says, is there going to be a second Lego Batman minifigure series? Uh, it sounds like that might be happening. We don't have any sort of official confirmation. Um, we did the Lego 2018. I know Luke was asking about the 2018 set catalog leak. And, you know, we did see a lot of things for the um, 2018 sets, but we didn't see anything about a Lego Batman movie minifigure series. So I, I don't know. I think it could kind of go either way of whether we're going to get a series two or not. All right, we're just building now this little boat. Do you think that Lego will make a set to the Unikitty show? Um, that's from uh, Rainiel. And um, yeah, I, I hope they do, actually, because I think it'd be kind of fun to get some of those other secondary characters that they're making for that show um, as actual minifigures or, or brick-built figures in that case. Um, so I, I, don't, I wouldn't say no to a, a Unikitty set. And I loved Unikitty in the movie. The Cloud Cuckoo Land set was one of my favorites. All right. Am I excited for Lego Movie 2? Oh, yeah. Always excited for more Lego movies. And honestly, just getting a sequel to the Lego Movie in general is really exciting to me because I loved the first one. Would uh, you want more vehicles or landscapes in the Black Panther sets? Um, I would like more uh, like play sets. Um, I know we're going to get to see some cool locations in Wakanda. So I would much rather have like a really cool you know, Wakanda base or something like that than like 
you know, a generic black van or a motorcycle or, or something like that. But I tend to like play sets a little bit better than vehicle sets, but maybe that's just me. Let me know if you guys agree in the comments. All right, where's that other piece? Oops, dropping pieces. Um, all right, let me grab another question from the chat and then I'll continue on building. What is my favorite theme from Darth Revan? Um, so my favorite theme right now is the superheroes theme, maybe particularly the Lego Batman movie. Um, and right now, I also am really digging the Lego Ninjago movie sets. I honestly think that just like the Lego Batman movie, the Lego Ninjago movie sets are some of the more fun, inventive, um, really just cool sets that they've come out with in a while. And and that's what I look for. You know, I I, I want to have fun when I'm building. You know, I want cool minifigures. I want um, interesting building techniques, you know, so I think that the more that Lego can do in that regard to kind of keep things original, keep things surprising and, and inventive, I really like that kind of stuff. Do you own any of the sets from the Hands of Time season of Ninjago? Um, and actually, I only own one, and that's the smallest one, like the Vermilion something, I think it's called. Um, so yeah, I don't own any of the Hands of Time sets, just because you know, when you collect so many different um, of the different lines and the different sets, you can't get them all. And so Ninjago, the TV show, at least, is one of those lines that I've kind of said I can't uh, I can't collect. So um, or at least I can't collect as much as I'd like to. So if you guys have any of those sets from the hands of time, let me know which ones are your favorite. Do I play Roblox? No, I don't play Roblox. Um. My cousin got a full gray base plate of Lego Stormtrooper, Summer Chrome. So actually, fun fact, or kind of a fun talk brick story, is that growing up, um, or not even growing up, I think it was when I was in uh, college, I was on the Toys R Us website when they actually put up those Chrome minifigure Stormtroopers up for sale. They were like six bucks each, and I bought five of them, which I think might have been the most you could buy at one point, and they actually sent me ten of them. So I have 10, um, or maybe I have 12. I forget if I have 10 or 12, but I have um, so many of those chrome gold or chrome silver stormtroopers, which were super cool. So that's a that's a fun talk brick story. Um, let's see, favorite Lego Ninjago movie minifigure. Um, I really like all the Shark Army characters, um, so I'm a big fan of those. So I'll probably say that those are my favorite, but I really like Garmadon. I just think Garmadon's a cool minifigure too. Probably the one with the pajamas, um, which actually I have right here. So here he is. Dun, 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 dun. The pajama Garmadon. I love this one. Super funny. Even this funny back texture. N-pop girl or Masako? Definitely N-pop girl. I'm a huge fan of the N-pop girl. She was one of my favorites going into it. Favorite Star Wars character? Um, I, honestly, my favorite Star Wars characters are, are I always love the droids. So um, like when BB-8 came out, I like freaked out. I was obsessed with BB-8 um, and I still am. And so I've always been a fan of like C-3PO and R2-D2. Um, and I actually just got a cool little like statue set of the three of them from Force Awakens. So that was kind of a fun thing I picked up. Let's see. Favorite Pokemon? Um, I, I mean, I, I, I'm kind of partial, I think, to the the first wave. You know, I, I grew up with the game, you know, when it first came out. So, like, Charmander and Squirtle and Bulbasaur, Charizard. Like, those ones, that, the first, the original uh, 100, 101, those are probably my favorites. Just because I have the most history with those ones. Do I own any... 2013 2012 Lego Batman sets from Caleb Bricks. Um, I actually do. I own I own a, a handful of them. I don't own all of them, um, but I but I do own some of them. And that actually the, that line of sets also was when I was working at the Lego store. So I remember when those came out. And actually, I remember taking home some of the like um, we had these like kind of cardboard cutouts of some of the minifigures. And I actually had I ended up taking those home and putting them on my wall. So that was a fun that was a fun little behind the talk bricks life story <laughs> and i even made a life-size batman utility belt the floor is lava uh-oh mario or sonic mario um i do like sonic and i'm right now i'm trying to find time to play sonic mania which is really great but i i'm probably just a bigger mario fan in general 
Let's see. Would I like to see a Lego Uncharted theme from Marco Lightning? Um, like, like I said earlier in the stream, I don't really know this the series that well, but I know obviously how popular it is. And I know there's a, I believe there's a movie for it coming out. So um, I think it probably would be a cool line, but I just, uh, I don't know. I'm not, I don't have a lot of familiarity with it. So I'm probably not the right person to ask. <laughs> All right, let me, oops. Let's see. Would I like a Lego Super Mario theme? Yeah, I would love one. But uh, I don't think we're going to be getting that anytime soon just because Lego doesn't have the license. Let's see. I have a big Lego cabinet and most of my displayed Legos are covered with dust. What do I do? So um, I had a similar scenario when in my house, uh, my parents' house, when I was growing up. And what I ended up doing was I actually took apart all of my Lego sets and I actually... Uh, washed them. So I made like one container of soapy water, like a little warm, but not super warm and, you know, some soap. And then I had another container full of regular water. And so what I would do is I would, you know, one by one, each set, I would put all the bricks in the soapy one, take them out, put them in the clean water one and rinse them. And then after that, I would um, lay them out on large towels to dry. So you can try that. And uh, that worked well for me. Do you want the Lego Batman movie Bricktober packs? Oh yeah, I definitely want those. I, I mean, you know, if you guys know me and you've been a fan of the channel for a long time, you know how big of a fan I was of Lego Batman movie, all the minifigures, all the sets. So I have to get all of them. That's that's <laughs> that's a rule I, I made for myself is that I have to get all the Lego Batman movie stuff. So I will definitely be trying to check out those figures. All right. Um, would love, uh, would you love if we got a, um, Nightwing Robin from Lego Batman movie? Yeah, that would be fun. You can play as that character in Lego Dimensions, but you, we didn't get an actual figure of it. Let's see. Um, favorite Lego Ninjago set from the movie. My favorite one from the movie, I've said this a couple times on the streams, but my favorite one is the Destiny's Bounty. Ironically, it's one of the few that I don't have right now, but it still is also my favorite. Just because I think it's it's just a beautiful set. <laughs> you know, sometimes Lego just really hits, nails a set, knocks it out of the park. So, yeah. Favorite Lego Halloween character? I'm guessing you're asking about from the Monster series. Um, I really liked the one that was like the plant eating the guy. That one's probably my favorite. Do you hope we will still get a Lego Batman movie standalone game? Uh, I think it'd be really great, but I don't think it's going to happen. So... Unfortunately, I don't, I just don't see that happening. All right, we're getting down to it, guys. So as soon as I finish this set, I'm going to have to sign off. What sets am I missing from the Ninjago movie? Uh, I'm missing the Destiny's Bounty, the Temple of the Ultimate Ultimate Weapon, Ninjago City, and the Movie Maker pack, and, hmm... I think that might be it. I really, I have most of them. So, um, feeling very lucky about that, but I don't have all of them. Big fan, I started my Lego channel. Oh, well, I'm glad you were able to start your own channel. I hope and that I inspired you. Who's my favorite X-Men character? Um, my favorite X-Men character, I mean, obviously I'm a big Wolverine fan. Um, you know, one of the characters that I really want to see more of, like in, you know, the Fox movies is Gambit. I was always a big Gambit fan growing up, especially because I used to watch the classic X-Men cartoon from the 90s, which, like I said, um, I watched the Spider-Man cartoon from the 90s, but you can actually watch both of those on Hulu. And um, I loved Gambit. And the rogue that was in the cartoon was very different than the rogue in the um, the movies that, the, you know, the Anna Paquin rogue. But, um, so I really liked the one that we saw on that cartoon. Do we hope, uh, do you hope we'll ever get a Lego Power Rangers theme? Yeah, obviously, um, Mega Bloks has the rights to that, to that license right now, but I was a huge Power Rangers fan growing up, like, probably one of the biggest. And that, that show came about, like, right when I was a kid, when I was the perfect age for it, so... That will always have a special place for me, and I would love if they made a Lego Power Rangers theme. I mean, never say never. It was uh, one of the ideas to hit 10,000 ideas from Lego Ideas, so I don't know. Who knows? Maybe we'll, uh, 
maybe it'll win Lego Ideas somehow. The licensing person over at um, Saban Brands, who owns Power Rangers, said that it, that it could happen. I mean, obviously, then it would be up to Lego to choose it. Would you want an X-Men set possibly with Deadpool? Yeah, I mean, I would love another X-Men set. I don't think we're going to see one anytime too soon, just because, you know, for Marvel, the X-Men are not a big priority, and so because they don't have the rights to them in the movies. And so we tend to not see a lot of merchandise of X-Men characters, um, especially from the Lego side. So I would love to get more of that. I think I saw a question, do I like Yu-Gi-Oh? And no, I, I just don't, I don't know. I'm not too familiar with that one. So I'll have to say no, unfortunately. All right. Let's see. Thank you so much for putting the Lego Batman movie trailers on your channel. That's That was how I found them. Thanks. Oh, my pleasure. I love breaking down the channel, uh, the uh, channels, the trailers. Do you think we'll ever get a homemade Spider-Man suit minifigure? Um, you know, I, I, I tend to not think so, only because I feel like if we were going to get a second wave of Spider-Man Homecoming sets, we would have heard about it. So I don't think so, but I, I would have really loved one. That's honestly like somebody asked that in my last stream about that figure. And that's the only thing I really felt like we were really missing from the line. I really would have loved that. All right. I've got to load up all these buckets. This is actually like a pretty cool boat. I know it's kind of random because it's not like a ninja vehicle, but it's pretty cool. Is Beetlejuice a good Lego pack? Um, it looks really good to me. I Obviously, I haven't had a chance to pick it up myself, but I am pretty excited about it. All right. We've got another post going up at the front. All right. Do you think Lego Minecraft was a good idea? Um, I think it was a great idea. I'm not a big Minecraft fan myself. I just never really played through the game too much, but I think it's a good fit for Lego. You know, I think it's... It's one of those things where it, they, they kind of, uh, they remind you of each other a bit, you know? So, like, you know, people, it's kind of like Minecraft was a game that was like building Legos in an infinite world. So I sort of feel like it was a, it was a good fit. Uh, in your opinion, what does a set need in order to become extreme Lego? Um, I guess maybe motors. <laughs> Lego Ninjago movie video game or Lego Marvel 2? I... If you had to pick one, I would probably say Lego Marvel 2, but I think that the Lego Ninjago movie video game is going to be pretty good. So I don't think it would be like a bad choice if you went with the Lego Ninjago movie video game, but I think, I think I'm a little bit more excited or um, think that the Lego Marvel 2 game is going to be a little bit better, but maybe that's just me. I want a helmet mold for Captain America. Yeah, a lot of people have been wanting that. I know some customizers end up customizing their Captain Americas to have a helmet. And I think it would look really nice. Um, you know, it's hard, though, because, like, you know, Spider-Man, as much as it'd be cool to have a Spider-Man helmet, you know, like, designed for his, you know, mask, it would probably look a little bit silly because the proportions wouldn't be right. And I sort of... Um, but I don't know. I guess, I mean, the Flash has a helmet mold, and it's a similar design. So, yeah, why not? Do I own the Lego Disney Castle? So that's another one of those big sets that I really want, but I haven't picked up. So if anyone has an extra one, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Fun fact, all Lego Dimensions Wave 9 packs all have 56 pieces. Hmm. I didn't know that. And I guess I didn't know that if that was true or not. But I'm very excited for Wave 9. Obviously, I've gotten a couple of the packs early, so I'm very thankful to Warner Brothers for sending those out to me, but I can't wait to pick up the rest of them. All right, look at that. That turned out so cool. All right, guys. We're coming to the end of the stream here. 87 minutes. I think this is my longest stream I've ever made or I've ever done. So let's take a quick look at the set. So I'm going to try to bring everything kind of uh, in frame here. Here, let's flip this guy. Or I'll switch the places of these. This was a good set. And we've got lots of fun minifigures. I'll put him by the boat. Let's see. This is a good one. So yeah, let me know if you guys, if any of you guys have this set. But I think this one, one was actually like a pretty good one. These $30 sets for the Lego Ninjago movie have been really good. I think that 
you know, getting good minifigures. This is actually the cheapest way to get Jay in this suit. He comes in a few sets, but this is the cheapest way to get him. So if you're looking to get a Jay minifigure, this is a really good set to pick him up in. But, you know, I love that with all these ones, we get really... Oh, my. Sorry, I didn't mean to knock everything. It wouldn't be a it wouldn't be a talk brick stream if I didn't knock over something. But I love the jelly figure. I um I uh sometimes when I'm like playing with this figure, I'll go like I'll spin the head cuz you can sort of spin it like this and it sort of looks cool. But that's pretty neat. So yeah, I think this is a pretty good set overall. I think out of the $30 sets, this one might be one of the better ones. I really loved the Water Strider though cuz it makes it the Water Strider is just a really big set. All right, stand up, stay there. Um, so yeah, wow, this one turned out really neat. Um, let's see, what set will I buy for the next stream? Um, hmm, hey everyone, it's Knock Bricks. <laughs> Thanks, Drew. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna be doing next, but I try to keep them to be a little bit on the smaller side because otherwise the stream gets really, really, really long and it's sometimes hard to do streams that are too long, so. Um, but yeah. Honestly, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. This was a ton of fun. You guys are honestly the best. And this turned out to be a really cool set. I love the spinning legs. I love the minifigures. And actually, I really like this boat. And we did get to see more of the Ninjago City waterway system and the American Ninja Warrior trailer breakdown. So check out that video if you haven't. Um, but this has been super fun, guys. I will be back, of course, for more great videos, more trailer breakdowns, more LEGO Dimensions Wave 9. Um, and who knows, maybe a special giveaway coming up soon. So uh, thank you guys so much. You guys are honestly the best and you guys make this so much fun for me and other than that have a really great rest of your saturday and i will talk to you guys later bye